to check this out. Last night, I was checking out at the grocery store, and the cover of Cosmo caught my eye. It said something like, five ways to dirty talk your man's rod into space. <laughs> and all I could think was, Cosmo magazine makes a lot of assumptions. <laughs> the biggest one being that anyone still buys magazines. <laughs> Women's magazines are a perfect mix of thoughtful information and complete trash. <laughs> on one page, it's what to expect from your first gyno exam. And on the next page, it's a piece called how to make yourself a literal snack by putting dipping sauce on your nipples. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll be real, in high school, I loved women's magazines. I know! I used to learn from them, which is a bad idea. <laughs> I was an awkward 15-year-old who should have been learning about how to kiss. <laughs> Meanwhile, Glamour was yelling at me like, are you a butt stuff girl? <laughs> uh, I, <w> <laughs> I once read a tip about exciting your man by using an ice cube while giving a BJ. <laughs> yeah, nothing says sexy like giving someone a surprise cold shower in your mouth. <laughs> sexy! And the ways to please your man lists have gotten so ridiculous. Do you not think so? Yeah. Every other article is like, 20 ways to make your man go cross-eyed. 50 ways to make your man's butt explode. <laughs> 74 ways to grind your man's junk into raw beef. <laughs> Who has the time to do 74 of anything? <laughs> Listen, I can either do one thing well or two things at 50%. You pick, me. 74, don't be dumb. Uh, the craziest thing about these magazines is that we assume the author of these articles are experts. No, okay. Because the people who have the most sex are always rolling over afterward and going, oh, where's my laptop? I gotta write 500 <laughs> words about this. <laughs> and don't get me started on all the quizzes. Like, are you a wild cat or a house cat in the bed? And I'm just like, I'm whichever one is Garfield. <laughs> just in the bed, eating lasagna. <laughs> I once took a test that said, on a scale of 1 to 100, it would tell me how sexually adventurous I am. Mm. I literally got a 3. <laughs> the line after 3 said, I'm sorry you lost your genitals in a house fire. <laughs> but the thing that always blew my mind were the quizzes you take to find out if you're in a healthy relationship with your significant other. Taking a relationship survey out of a women's magazine is like going on WebMD. <laughs> if you have that many symptoms, you already know it's cancer. <laughs> <laughs> and in the middle of all of these sex quizzes and tips, there's always one article that attempts serious journalism about a girl who almost died because her heart grew in backwards, but now she's dating a guy whose heart also grew in backwards. <laughs> and the article is titled Inside Out, How My Backwards Heart Led Me Forward to Love. <laughs> and by the end, all you've learned is that people with backwards hearts can only do it doggy style. <laughs> <laughs> now, don't get me wrong, men's magazines are just as stupid. They're all about which celebs are the hottest, which cars are the fastest, and which musky cologne smells the muskiest. <laughs> but you know what you don't see on the cover of a lot of men's magazines? 900 ways to please your woman. Yes. Yeah. 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 Which is ironic because as opposed to men, there are actually 900 ways to please a woman. <laughs> tell you how to fly a kite and one about how to operate an airplane. <laughs> there are a few really simple ways to please women that men need to learn. Start with cleaning up after yourself. Yeah. Notice that we got our hair done. And I don't know, learn how to spell the alphabet with your tongue. Hey!